Hi, my name is Chris Sasaki, and this is your Tonko tip for the day. Today's question is about how I conceptualize characters. First thing I like to say is nothing's really easy, I struggle too. Um, there's nothing scarier than a blank piece of paper. I like in the beginning just to spend a lot of time doing research because when I go straight to drawing, I tend to run out of ideas really fast. Thinking about the story you're trying to tell because everything, all the design decisions I make, it always points back to story, like what's the kind of story you're trying to tell? And so that drives my research of like, is it a historical piece? You know, can you find stuff like, be, make sure you're giving a tribute or authenticity to that time period or that world you're doing and learn from it. I feel like that's the biggest thing is like every culture has a different identity. And in like these kind of stories we're telling, we're giving tribute. And so spending time to do that, I think you bring authenticity to the work and people will notice it. I think they will be attached to the story a little bit more. I think the good you know, representation is like thinking about it as typography as well, where it's like you don't do design for design's sake. You know, for an example, it's like you wouldn't put like a curls font on an obituary news article or a tombstone. It would just feel out of place. And I think that's what character design for me is. Like we're spending all this time doing thinking to find what's appropriate for the actual story. Um, and then I kind of be influenced by like the time period and all of my research um, and bring that into my design decisions. And that's your taco tip of the day. If you like this segment, please leave a comment below.